This video is brought to you by WeGotSoccer.com, offering all the latest soccer gear at everyday low prices. Don't forget to use coupon code SR4U at checkout for 10% off any order. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you an unboxing plus on feet video of the Nike Mercurial Vapor 9 in the brand new Reflective Pack colorway. Now inside the box, as with all top end models from Nike, a string bag is included. This particular string bag is white in color with electric green strings. You're gonna find a cheetah print Nike swoosh on the front in black and electric green, and a snake skull logo on the back with a Nike swoosh right there in the middle. So we'll get that out of the way, get the shoes out of the box. And if you guys could take a quick second to leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated. So here is a look at the reflective pack colorway for the Mercurial Vapor 9. You can see that in well-lit situations, the reflective material comes across as a very light gray. And on the Mercurial Vapor 9, it's in the form of a cheetah print or leopard print pattern that wraps around the back half or heel portion of the shoe on both the outside, inside, and of course, back of the heel. It's a very cool look, especially against the white background, like I said, in well-lit situations. You're also gonna find a little bit of that reflective material in the laces, as we saw with the CR7 Galaxy colorway. For the most part though, it's a very simple, straightforward color with a white base, black accents in the Nike swooshes, and then of course an electric green accent in the heel liner, insole, as well as the stud plate for the shoe itself. But without further ado, let's get into exactly why this shoe is exciting, and that is due to the reflective material on the shoe itself. So let me just turn off some of these lights so we can get the desired effect here. And you guys can see how reflective these shoes actually are, because it's actually a very, very cool feature at least in my opinion. So here is a look at the shoes reflecting. Now keep in mind, the way I have it set up right now is just to get the most kind of amplified desired effect, I should say. It doesn't necessarily have to be this dark for the reflective material to work. But for the sake of the video, um, I made it very dark and then basically shot a flashlight on the shoes themselves. And you can see that the reflective material reflects the light, making it as if the shoe almost has its own light source. Um, and it's a very, very cool looking, as you can see. Um, like I said, it doesn't have to be this dark for the effect to work. Um, it just has to be a little bit darker and there has to be some form of a light source for the reflective material to actually work. So stadium lighting or stuff like that is definitely going to allow the reflective material to be shown off, um, not only so you can see it, but also so other players as well as spectators um, we'll see this reflective material as well. So it's kind of a high visibility thing. It's designed originally as kind of a safety feature. You can see that it is on the laces as well. It's a little bit more difficult to see because they're white laces as opposed to like a black background or something like that. But it is there nonetheless. And as you guys can see, it is a very, very cool feature. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this particular colorway um, on the Nike Mercurial Vapor 9 for the reflective pack. I'd be very curious to hear your opinions. But that's enough about the, the kind of colorway and the pattern itself and move on next to the actual technical specifications of the Mercurial Vapor 9. As you may already know, the Mercurial Vapor 9 is the speed boot or lightweight option from Nike in their current lineup of soccer shoes. Um, it's designed to be light, it's designed to be responsive, it's designed to offer a really tight fit, and is designed to provide a barefoot feel, and it does all of those things very, very well. Now, starting off with the upper itself, it is a single piece of thin Tajian synthetic to make up the entire upper. You can see my finger poking through the inside. There's pretty much no extra padding here, and it's the least amount of material that you can possibly put on a soccer shoe to allow for the truest barefoot feel that, honestly, you can get from any soccer shoe currently out there on the market. Well, still maintaining a very responsive, very secure fit when your foot is inside the shoe. So it's not gonna roll over and move around when you pull the laces tight, even though the material is extremely thin. You can see that this time around, Nike has opted for the smooth leather grain finish on the upper itself, as opposed to the golf ball-like dimpled speed, speed control finish that we've seen on other colorways. Um, honestly, it doesn't make too big of a difference in terms of the overall feel or playing experience you're gonna get from the Mercurial Vapor 9, but my preference is definitely this smooth finish as opposed to the dimpled finish. You're gonna have a central lacing system that runs fairly deep into the shoe, allowing for a very secure and snug fit when you pull the laces tight. And don't forget the ACC All Conditions Control branding right there, which basically signifies that this shoe does feature ACC 
technology, which essentially acts as a hidden wet control element on the boot itself, allowing for slightly better friction between your foot and the ball in wet weather playing conditions. Now moving on to the back of the shoe, you're gonna find a lower cut in the heel, a synthetic leather liner with plenty of extra padding as far as um, comfort goes, considering that this is a very lightweight shoe. It still feels very solid and very comfortable on feet. The insole is fully removable. You can see it's electric green in color. And you're also gonna find that snake skull logo right there at the heel. Features a mesh liner on top, perforations throughout, and is made from one single layer of this black foam material. Exactly the same as all the rest of the Nike Mercurial Vapor 9s. To be completely honest with you guys, it's not the best insole out there, but it definitely does get the job done. Now moving on to the sole plate and stud pattern, you're gonna find a base for the sole plate in the form of this glass fiber material. You're gonna have two layers of glass fiber going from the heel to the midfoot, and then one single layer of glass fiber in the forefoot and toe box area. There's been variation from colorway to colorway, whether or not you're gonna find one material in the forefoot or two layers of material in the forefoot. To be completely honest with you guys, I've mentioned this before, it really doesn't make too big of a difference or if any difference at all in terms of the overall feel. So it's not really something I would worry about. Whether you have two layers or one single layer in the forefoot, you're still gonna get that nice lightweight responsive feel from this particular sole plate. Now, as the stud plate itself, um, you guys can see that this is the firm ground stud pattern. And what's cool about this particular stud plate is that it's a lime green color, but it's translucent plastic. So you can see um, the glass fiber underneath it, which I think looks really, really cool. Um, but nonetheless, this is the firm ground stud pattern on the Mercurial Vapor 9. It's really designed for more ideal firm ground playing situations, meaning the field is going to be natural grass and just a little bit softer because the studs are fairly long and because there are so few of them. Um, if they don't dig into the ground or if the ground is a little bit harder, it does feel a little bit unstable and you're just not going to get optimal traction out of the stud pattern. But if you are in an ideal plane surface made from natural grass, this stud pattern outperforms pretty much anything else currently out there on the market in terms of just straight out grip and multi-directional traction. All of these studs dig into the ground very, very well. And when you push off, you have tremendous grip. You can see that all the studs are basically positioned in all the push off points under your foot. It's a very well designed stud pattern, but like I said, it's really designed for more ideal playing situations. So if you're playing on harder ground or even artificial grass, this is definitely something to avoid. Um, but that's pretty much it as far as all the technical specifications for the shoe itself. And to move on to a quick weigh in so you can see how lightweight these guys are. The Mercurial Vapor 9, at least in my opinion, falls under the ultra lightweight category, meaning a shoe that weighs less than 7 ounces. And you definitely get that ultra lightweight feel and very responsive feel from the Mercurial Vapor 9, not only because it is actually very light, but also because it has a very tight secure fit when on feet. So I'm going to weigh this pair for you today in real time. Keep in mind that this is a brand new pair in a size 9 US. We're going to throw it on the scale. And you can see that these guys weigh in at a very lightweight 6.85 ounces. So again, right under that seven ounce mark, they're gonna provide a nice lightweight feel both in hand as well as on feet. And if you're looking for one of the more responsive lightweight soccer shoes, the Mercurial Vapor 9 is definitely one of the best options currently on the market. That's pretty much it though for the weigh-in portion of this video. And move on next to a quick on feet so you can get a better idea as to how these shoes fit and what the sizing is like. All right, here is a look at the Mercurial Vapor 9s on feet. You can see I have it set up so the glowing effect is currently in action, just so you guys can get a better idea as to how it does look on feet. Definitely a very, very cool effect. But nonetheless, the Mercurial Vapor 9 is probably one of the better fitting thin synthetic soccer shoes currently out there on the market, if not the best in my opinion. Um, in terms of overall comfort, it's fairly wearable from right out of the box. There is a little bit of stiffness from the upper, as well as the glass fiber sole plate from brand new. But after a couple hours of wear time, you will find that it softens up quite a bit and becomes a lot more comfortable. In terms of the fit, this is a very tight, very narrow fitting shoe. So if you do have wider foot, um, this is definitely something to stay away from. I have about average width feet and I'm pretty much at the maximum of what this shoe can handle. So again, if you have regular to narrow width feet, you should be able to fit in this shoe with very little issues. Um, but if you do have a wider foot type, you're probably best staying away from the Mercurial series altogether. Now in terms of sizing, I'm wearing my usual size 9 US here, and the fit and length is pretty much perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair of these for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size for the best possible fit. Well that's pretty much it for the on-feet portion of this video, and I'll leave you to my final thoughts.
All right, guys, that's it for my unboxing of the Reflective Pack Mercurial Vapor 9. Really good looking and very unique colorway, in my opinion. Not to mention that the Vapor 9 itself is a fantastic shoe when it comes to overall performance. As always, guys, if you are interested in more information on the overall performance, be sure to check out the full written review on my website. I'll leave a link to that down below in the description. Also, on that review page link down below, you're going to find buy it now links for these guys along with exclusive SR4U coupon codes to get yourself some additional discounts if you are interested in ordering a pair of these for yourself. So be sure to go ahead and check out that review page if any of that is of interest to you. Uh, if you have any questions regarding this shoe, feel free to leave a comment down below and I definitely will get an answer out to you. Um, if you did enjoy today's video, as always, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media information down below in the description. Other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, thanks for watching.